Hey Rockstar, so today I want to show you a new feature that has been added to Node.js which is the watch mode. It's something I'm pretty much excited about and we're just going to discuss it in this video and uh, I will show you how to use it and uh, we'll just talk about it a little bit. Alright, so let's dive right into it. So before the watch mode, most times in Node.js, if you want to like restart your application, when you make a change, you use something called Nodemon, which is a package on NPM. You can see it's really popular. You see it got like 5 million downloads. So it's really good for DX and speed to see the changes you make. So frameworks incorporated, or you could just on your own install it globally and just run Nodemon whatever package or, or your project name or file name that you want to run in node. So it replace you running node, maybe app.js, for example. All right. So, but as from node 18.11 and node 19, which recently just was released. If you haven't gotten that, please do MVM install v19.0.0 so have it packing some new features especially like the watch mode so you could read all about it in this beautiful blog post uh, the announcement article so you could see here the node watch is still experimental but it has been experimented since 18.11 and it moves to node 19 so i think it's pretty stable to to use currently but maybe some quirks and bugs here and there to fix but it's really exciting and let's look at the issue discussing the so this was the pull request that added this feature and you could see the emojis and how excited folks were about it and i myself am also excited about it okay so how does it work let's dive into the code and check how it works so over here in Visual Studio Code, I have a Node Watch project, which is so. Um, what's gonna happen? So I have an index of JS file and add JS, which we'll look at in a bit. So what's gonna happen now is if I do let's say console.log, hello node watch, okay, save that and let's start up node. So normally, if you want to start up this, if you want to run this um, file in Node, you could do node index.js right but when you do that and you get to see hello node watch and you see node just um exited right so but if you want to keep node in watch mode all we need to do is to do node dash dash watch right and we pass in the the file the javascript file in this case it's just going to be index.js so when we run that you can see there's some experimental warning and stuff and telling you the future could change anytime and all that but what you can see is node is now in watch mode similar to what you had with node one and the really cool thing is whenever you make a change here let's say hello node watch i will do again and i save you could see it reruns and you get to see the output so this is amazing you no longer need to restart your node server if you are maybe building with something like express and you use this everything would just um your app will be restarted with this watch mode okay so now a cool thing is apart from it watching just the file you specify when you call the watch index.js if we import that add um let's import the add module that i made and I do console.log add and we do five and let's say seven and I run this, you get to see the result, right? You see, we don't need to restart the server. And, and the, the nice thing I wanted to show you was if I change this module, this add module, let's say I decided to, you know, just do times two. So we're gonna add it up and, and multiply it by two. If I save now, you see it also picked up those changes so the node watch uh, mode just not only watch the file you're watching but any imported modules and that is interesting that's just going to improve dx so let's go over to firefox and check some of the um 
another command and some of the concepts with the watch mode um, flag. So for one, you should not run the watch mode flag with either check, eval, interactive, or the repo. So if you're going to start up the node repo, don't be that guy that start up the node repo with the watch flag because you you're not going to be watching the node repo, right? So please don't be that guy. So you shouldn't use it with check, eval, or interactive. And another thing you can do is watch path, right? So instead of saying just watch, if you want to watch a particular path or a group of paths, you could use it like so. So what is going to happen is you run node normally and you only watch for changes in the source directory or the test directory and you're not watching for changes in here all right so that's one way to run this command and yeah so it's a nice feature that will let you ditch node more you don't need to install another package just to get um your app to be restarted whenever you are developing a node so i'm excited about it and uh, leave a comment if you're excited about it as well